I've reflected over the past seven years, because this was seven years ago, and Dylan was nearly seven years old, about the amount of time I lost in my relationship with Dylan when I found out he had autism. Because instead of giving him all the love and support I needed to do when he was three years old, all I could think was, what's, this, what's he going to be? Is he ever going to play sport? Will he ever play an instrument? Will he ever have friends? Will he ever leave home? At least two years of his life, I feel I lost just from that, that rejection, right? Not, not giving him what he needed. Um, and obviously compounded by the fact that we lost him. Dylan had his challenges, but at his essence was just happiness. He connected with people on just a very basic emotional level. If you were not happy and he saw it, he, had just, he would just say, why sad? That was his simple way. Why sad? And he just needed a little more help. A little more help. And he could do the things that any kid could do. And that's the same of all our kids today, disabilities or not. And when we talk to them and we start the program, we tell them about the butterfly effect. Many small changes will accumulate and create a massive effect in the world. The butterfly flaps its wings will cause a hurricane. The, what if a whole school of kids just decided that today they were going to pick each other up, not put each other down? We need to start bringing people back together, now more than ever. I mean, we could have thought of this two, three, five years ago, but now more than ever. And really, the past three years, what Dylan's Wings of Change started doing is a program that is trying to do just this. This is kids talking to kids, teaching kids. Because we tell them, who, who decides how it feels to be a middle schooler today? It's the kids. They are the butterfly effect. They are the ones who are going to change the world. We're all just there to help them raise some money and to let them realize that they're the ones.